Close your eyes and watch your breath. Notice where you feel the breath in the body. And stay with those sensations. We have a cartoon idea of the breath of just the air coming in the nose and going only as far as the lungs. But when you look at how the breathing feels, you notice that things don't stop with the lungs. Different parts of the body have to change, have to move so that you can breathe. And all that sense of movement, that counts as breath for the purposes of the meditation. Because you're trying to give the mind a place where it can settle and watch itself here in the present moment. And you need an anchor. Otherwise you get into a thought world and the thought world carries you away like a bubble. You don't know where you are. And suddenly the bubble pops and you're back. Then you blow another bubble and follow that out. Well, you want to stay here. Who's blowing the bubbles and for what purpose? Sometimes the bubbles actually are useful. Your thought, thoughts of past and future are not all bad, but you want to see who's making them, what's making them, and how can they be made well? Because our lives are shaped by the way we think, because the way we think determines what we want to do. And if our thoughts are just all over the place, our actions don't really lead to any specific direction. They go here a little bit, and then over there a little bit, then wander back. If you were to draw a map of the mind as it goes through the day, it's all over the place. If you want to accomplish something in life, you want to make some, your life mean something, you have to have a direction. The Buddha calls this being rightly self-directed. If you make up your mind that there's something you want to attain in life and you go for that, then you have to learn how to sort out all your other thoughts to see which ones are helping in that direction and which ones are not. Otherwise life is like a little dust moat in, in the air. Sometimes we see the sun going through a, an otherwise dark room and you see little pieces of dust floating around and they bounce around. Don't go anywhere in particular. That's, that kind of life is not a, a not a happy life. A happy life is one that has a sense of direction. So give yourself a sense of direction of where you really want to go, and then train the mind so that it stays in line with that direction. So if you're to trace the trajectory of the mind, it would go where you wanted it to go. It starts right here, learning how to watch the mind here in the present moment, anchored with the breath, or the sense of the breath being comfortable. You can change the breath in all kinds of ways. Ask yourself what would feel best right now, and then provide that. And that way the mind will want to stay in the present moment. Because the comfortable breathing not only feels good, but it's also good for the body, it's good for the mind. When your mind is treated well like this, then it's going to treat other people well, too. It all starts inside.